Do you want to know what my results are thus far? Well, today we're going to take an honest look at myself and where I am on my health and wellness and weight loss journey. Today I want to look at the scripture, which is Proverbs 19 and 20. Hear counsel and receive instruction, that thou mayest be wise in thy latter end. So when I had my thoughts for this video, it's only been probably, I'd say, a good six weeks since I've actually started really honing down and getting consistent with my exercises and trying to get better at my eating habit, habit, habits. And we shall see that is where I'm struggling. When I looked at the scripture in Proverbs and talking about hearing counsel and receiving instruction that, you know, it's like just thinking about you want to be wise with what you're doing. So looking at my nutrition, I have found that it's a lot harder to do now that I'm living with somebody who isn't necessarily working on the same goals as you. So I have was single till I was 49. So I've lived several, several years on my own, did whatever I wanted to do when I set out to go to the gym, do a diet fast, whatever I wanted to do, it really didn't affect anybody around me. It was just me, myself, and I, and my little kitty Bentley, and he would just rah-rah me all the time. But if I wanted to do something, I could just do it. So let's first talk about what is working, and let's start on a positive note. So the one thing I know that I have been able to do consistently these last six weeks are my workouts. So I've made a commitment to myself. I get my walk in every day. I try to get them in the mornings. Now that it's getting cooler, I'm trying to wait till it warms up a little bit. So that's kind of thrown a wrench in my day. But I get those done. And since my weight workouts are only three days a week, I have been able to do those. I schedule them Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Now there are times when I didn't get to it on Monday, I had too much going on, so then I would move it to Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. And thankfully that has worked out, so I do like the flexibility that I can move it a little bit if I have to. And even if I do Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, I can essentially still go back because I'll have that rest day on Sunday where I can work out Monday, Wednesday, Friday again. So I do love that, and I love the three days. So, and the, like I said, the walks are easy. I can get that done every day in the mornings or I can do it later at night. And it's just, that has been definitely good. So, when I do my meal prepping, like this last week, I was able to get our salads made before Monday. So get that going. Um, the smoothies aren't too bad because I just do it a couple times in the morning, but I haven't even done one this week. So here we go again with not always getting everything in my schedule like I'd like to. But when I do the meal prep, I did the salad and I made a big pot of soup. So we at least have that. And then I've only got to worry about maybe, you know, an easy beans and rice meal for lunch, you know, and steam some broccoli veggies and things like that during the week to kind of help me with extra meals for my lunches. That has definitely helped a lot. When I have food that is healthy, then we don't go out to eat and I'm not snacking on a lot of junk. Hmm. Not a lot of junk. There's still so many things. It's just, I'm being brutally honest, guys. It is so hard. I never had a very good willpower. If I didn't want to eat something, I couldn't buy it. It couldn't be in my house because I can't control myself. Lord Jesus, please help me get a control in this appetite and this throwing food in my mouth. Chop my hand off if you have to. So, but once I, if I have good food, I'm definitely eating better. It's, you know, when I'm having those challenges of getting things made, that's when 
trouble starts. And then the other thing that is definitely helping and working is because I'm doing my workouts and I am seeing the changes and feeling the changes, my muscles are getting stronger. I just, I feel better when I get that workout done. I just, I feel so great. It's, it's like that inner accomplishment, you know, okay, I did X, Y, Z. That's what I wanted to get done today. And I did it. So that has been motivating me and kind of helping me stay on course. So my mental attitude, as far as that, that has been very helpful, very positive. So this is going to be, I don't know why, but I guess because, you know, I'm married, I've got another person to worry about, you know, what we're going to eat, you know, what we're doing on weekends. Um, we seem to do a lot together. I think that's a good thing. But then there's times where I need him to do his thing so I can do mine, like when we're both home. And sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. So I've lost my weekends doing more stuff with him for a lot of cleaning, meal prepping, and whatnot. So that just makes it a little more difficult during the week. So that's something I've got to figure out. So let's talk about what is not working. Because I wanted to go through and say, well, here's my weight now. I know I've lost, I'll say maybe six or seven pounds. So, but I'll be honest, some of that was before the six weeks. I mean, I started, I probably lost about five pounds in the very beginning, like June, July was when I really started trying to hone in on all this. And then the heat hit and then we got sick. Well, when I didn't eat for a week, I lost five or six pounds. But as soon as I started eating, I gained them all back and I've probably lost two or three since then. So I haven't lost a ton of weight in the last five to six weeks. Now I will say that I kind of know that I wanted to stick to that 1400 calories for me a week, but the first thing I've not been doing so great is tracking my calories. If I don't eat the foods that I know how many, you know, macros are in them as far as fats, protein, um, carbohydrates, and calories themselves, if I don't track what I'm eating, I know I'm eating way too much. And it's funny, when I first started, probably first of the year, I was looking into, okay, I've got to lose this weight. You know, I mean, I gained it within three years. And the last year, I mean, every year, as soon as I started gaining, I'm like, oh, I got to get rid of this. But nothing changed. So I kept gaining weight because nothing changed. So now I'm looking at, okay, I've got to really hone down. So this year has been my year. I got to get rid of this weight. But, you know, it is, what, October, November, and, you know, we're only down a few pounds. I will say that some of the weight is going to fluctuate because I'm trying to build muscle, and I'm okay with that. It's not necessarily the number on the scale. It's when I've lost enough weight that all of my clothes that I used to fit in that are now too tight that I could actually fit into them again. That's my goal. So um, I was going to come out here and like I said, tell you what my weight was and what my measurements are and at least like how much I've lost in inches. And I think I've probably only lost five or six inches total. So, but again, most of that's probably been before this workout. So I need to update my weight, inches, progress photos, and all that. I'm supposed to do that on a monthly basis. I'm a little behind. So, but I'm like, you know what? I know it's not really moved that much, so it's hard to say, and I'll be honest, but I guess it's just, you know, sometimes you're just not motivated to do it because you, you don't want to see the results. So being real, being raw, guys, I need you to help me. This is my plea to you, please help me. So I've got to work on tracking my calories. Oh, what I did start to say was initially when I started looking on, looking into all of this and you know, getting ideas and how to work out and you know, I know what I know. I need, I know you need to sh cut 500 calories a day to lose a pound a week. I don't think that's ever changed. Now I did look into 
some other information about menopause because I'm in that stage of life and now they say it's harder to lose weight and harder to lose the belly fat and I'm like ah, I don't need anything else more difficult so but I found some information that told you to like even if you're exercising you go to a calorie the BMR um, calories and you kind of put in what's your height what's your weight what's your daily activity and then let's say you're gonna bump up your like workout exercise activity to like either it's typically like a light activity moderate or like heavy workouts so I usually do like the moderate um, that says that you're supposed to eat like 1800 calories for me in my height and weight and what I don't know is if that is supposed to be including that 500 calorie deficit so would I really be eating 2300 but I'm going down to 18 I don't know but I know I probably eat closer to the 16 1800 a day and um, heaven forbid sometimes more when we go out but that's not gonna work for me you know that's kind of where I've been hovering probably 16 to 18 if I look at it every day and I'm like that's not enough of a deficit because I know that restricting calories works because like I said, when I didn't eat for a week, it was probably about 10 days, but I mean, I lost like seven pounds, like nothing. So don't tell me that calorie restriction doesn't work because it does. I'm living proof. So anyway, but there I am. So I know where I need to be and I just got to figure out how to do it because I will say that now that I'm working out and building the muscle, I am more hungry. And I think right now I keep thinking, oh, well, I worked out and I got to eat to maintain this muscle. And that's right. I probably do. However, if I don't get those calories in a deficit, I'm not going to lose the fat. I'm not doing any kind of cardio to help burning my fat so that's where I've got to figure out Ugh. so anyway and the next thing that I think is not helping me so I've got to talk to hubby I really need to get I think a body analyzer scale because those at least will let you know okay maybe I didn't lose any weight but maybe I am decreasing in fat and increasing in muscle. And I have read that actually, because I know they will tell like your water weight and your BMI and there's bone mass maybe, they'll tell you all that. But I think when you have more muscle that your water weight actually goes up because your muscle is, you know, it has water in it. So I don't think the fat has water in it. Because when I think of water weight, I'm like, oh great, if my water weight goes up, am I bloated? So that may actually not be the case. So anyway, um, y'all can help me get him on board with that because I want to find a good one that I can refer other people to as well. So that's next on my list. And then the last thing that isn't working is I'm not getting up in the morning like I you know I keep saying I'm trying to go through my morning routine and structuring my day and figuring out how everything is because I'm not sitting down and prioritizing my day I think even in that I need to take time to really think about what are my meals for the day so I know what I'm gonna eat get it all and I'm just gonna have to do a chronometer every day you know I'll try to you know spot check it every couple days and this and that but I'm like yeah that's not working I need to get in there and kind of plan what I'm gonna eat get everything plugged in and then I know that's why I love the meal prep where you actually kind of divvy everything up into meals because I don't I don't need variety I don't care like I said I used to eat you know a big either my smoothie or a big bowl of fruit for breakfast, a big salad for lunch, and I'd make a big pot of chili and have a pot of chili every night. I ate the same thing every day. Didn't care. Loved my salads. Couldn't wait for my salads. Loved my fruit. Couldn't wait for my fruit because I would change things in the salads, change or dressings or whatever, change things in the fruit. And then I, you know, had a different meal every week at night to eat. So I'm like, I looked for, 
I love food, but I like the same stuff. So that really worked for me. And I'm struggling this time around, so I'm going to have to figure out a way to get myself on a better schedule and then kind of give my husband more of what he wants to eat. So that's definitely a work in pro progress. But I think if I plan my days better and plan my meals better, then a lot of this would come into play. You know, it would, I guess it would kind of pull together better. So my thoughts are I need to go back through my weight loss plan of action and look at everything that I said I was going to do, see what I'm doing, see what I'm not doing or where the changes need to be made and figure out, I don't think, I've kind of glanced at it and I just don't think that I'm not, that like things need to actually change in it. I just need to be more focused and do what I said I was going to do. So once I look into that, we'll let you know. I knew this video was coming. I should have figured. I was hoping that I'd be further along and have better results, but you know, this is it. This is my journey. I am putting it out there for the world to see. And it's like, you know, I don't have this big, I lost 50 pounds and I went from this to this and tell you how my story, I am filming this as I'm doing it. This is as real as it gets. And you know, there's highs and lows and you know, it's that's why it's so important to keep your mindset open because we're gonna have struggles. We're gonna have things that don't work out. But this is what it is. I know what will get me in shape. I know what will get me to lose the fat. I know what will get the scale, those pounds down a little. You know, I know everything I need to do. It's just a matter of doing it. So I want to know for the comment question below, what is your real progress update on your weight loss journey? So let me know in the comments below. Let's get that conversation started. And please tell me if any of you are struggling like I'm struggling because I need some camaraderie right now. And I need some assurance. I know we'll get there. I know it. And I'm thinking the holidays are right around the corner. So I'm like, ah, oh, I gotta figure it out quick. I cannot gain any more weight this year. I just, I can't do it. I can't do it. So now for the next video, like I said, I'm going to go through this little guy of my weight loss plans and my plan of action. So I'm going to go through that and I'm going to see if I need to make adjustments, what I need to do, not do, and then the next video will be getting fit, my plan changes. So you will know my plan of attack, what I'm gonna do for plan of action part two. So let me know if you're gonna stick around for that. And please, if you like this video, please give me a like, show your love and let me know you care. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And then if you know anybody that would like to join our little weight loss community and we can all have our weight loss journey together, please share this video and let them know that we're out there and we're waiting for them to join us. But until then, we'll see you next time. You know, I don't even know if I told you. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for stopping by. And thank you for watching this video until the very end because it really does help the channel grow. The, 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 that's all folks.